Hello, good morning, my dear students. This is your guide and mentor for organic chemistry, Mrs. Memuna Bhavavala. After a long time publishing a video on named reaction, a very significant and simple, such important but simple, chiller, tegna, asan named reaction. The name of the named reaction is PAL NOR synthesis. Why are we studying this reaction? We are studying this reaction to understand a method of preparation for pyrrol. Let us say pyrrol or say it is a synthesis of pyrrol and we synthesize pyrrol from 1, 4, Dicarbonyl compound, very easy and simple. When one four dicarbonyl compound reacts with ammonia, I will get I will get pyro. As such, this reaction, pata hai hum ko hum samajh sakte hain. Lekin bas isko pal lower bolte, wo hum ko nahi pata. So one four one four dicarbonyl compound kya? Pehle ye samajhte hain. Ek, do, tii, cha. 1,4 dicarbonyl compound. It can be 1,4 dicarbonyl aldehyde or it can be 1,4 dicarbonyl compound, say for example uh, ketone or it can be a, a carboxylic acid. All of them they are containing carbonyl. I am making it in simplest by using by using two double bond. They are nothing but dialdehyde. This is also called as succinyl dialdehyde. This is this the same compound, 1,4. एक कार्बन नंबर एक और कार्बन नंबर चार एक दो तीन और चार हमेशा जब जब हमको रिंग बनानी है हमारे इमेजिनेशन में हमने रिंग को सर्कुलरली लिखना तो हमारे लिए इजी हो जाता है टू अंडरस्टैंड करेक्ट एंड वी आर वांट टू सिंथेसाइज व्हाट वी वांट टू सिंथेसाइज पायरोल एंड ऑल ऑफ अस नो दैट पायरोल इज नथिंग बट अ फाइव मेंबर रिंग कंटेनिंग वन नाइट्रोजन एंड इट आल्सो इज एरोमेटिक this is the structure of pyro. Very easy now to predict this 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 reaction. You know that how this one four dicarbonyl compound will react with will react with NH three NH three. How it will react with NH three to give you pyro. So this is for example the reaction in front of you. One four dicarbonyl compound reacts with reacts with uh, you can say ammonia. You can say primary amine. Here I am taking ammonia. Reaction with ammonia to give you pyrrole. If you want to understand how this mechanism is occurring, you know, this is the reaction. How the mechanism is occurring, you can make it more easier to understand by the concept of, we already understand what is the concept of keto inert tautomerism. Please refer to my video on keto inert tautomerism so that you understand this better. What happens here is that this is my keto and this is my alpha hydrogen which is this is my alpha hydrogen which is, which is attached which is attached here what i do is here i shift electrons on this oxygen okay o will bear a negative charge and what will happen is this proton i should say this that proton uses to give you a double bond here double bond moves to give you a negative charge on oxygen so this positively charged proton goes on this oxygen a similar thing will happen here also so what is the product that i will get just look at the product this is oh Carbon H, C O H. Okay. Now C double bond C, C double bond C. This H is no more there. Single bond. This carbon is already having two hydrogens. One, two, three, and four. So one hydrogen is. One hydrogen is gone. Okay. Just like here, it will be the same thing as here. What is happening? This is alpha hydrogen. There is one hydrogen here. So this CH as it is. What is happening? This is going to give you a double bond. Okay. Double bond moves to give you a negative charge. On this negatively charged oxygen, this positively charged proton will come and attack. So what I will get a double bond C H O H. Correct? Then what I do is I react this with ammonia N H 3. Just see loss of water, loss of water. What do I get? I get nothing but what is what I am expecting as a pyrrole C double bond C single bond C H H as it is double bond C this H I am writing here and there is loss of this water you know from here and here so what remains is N H H yes what I got is pyrrole this is nothing but the reaction and mechanism of pyrrole synthesis 
Keep watching. You will have a video soon on gallery. Keep watching. You will have a video soon on another name reaction called as Gettelman Koch synthesis. This name reaction is significant for your degree also. Uh, we found degree it's very significant for your GPAT and NIPER exams also. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.